Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to yet another weekly update. And I do apologise for always being in the same place. In the summer I try to get outside a bit and just vary the location of this vlog but um, this is where I seemingly spend my life on a lot of Teams calls and a lot of Zoom calls throughout the day and of course the evening and many of you will have had your AGMs and many of you will have uh, your county AGMs coming up so please do engage with them. I know myself, um, Deputy President Stuart Roberts, Vice President Tom Bradshaw, John Davis uh, and Alan of course in NFU Cymru we've been very busy along with members of the staff team and commodity board chairs actively engaging with the AGM season. Um, so if I haven't seen you, I know you will have seen one of the team and I hope those updates have been really helpful to, to everybody. Now, I've talked a lot before about George Eustace speaking to everybody and updating us all on what transition is going to look like, uh, what the final arrangements are, which we hope are being concluded with the EU-UK trade deal. And of course, the focus on ALMS and the Sustainable Farming Initiative and what actually that is going to mean to each and every one of our farming businesses. Now, this is going to happen on Monday. I, I say it with a slight sort of code of um, I hope it is going to happen on Monday, but I'm pretty certain from everything that we've heard that he will speak uh, this Monday coming and update everybody. You know, it was going to happen in April. It was going to happen in July, September, October and finally at the end of November. But we are, of course, so close to leaving this final transition year to exiting our long term relationship with the EU. So it's very, very pressing at the moment. So many of you I know with my engagement are, are desperate to know uh, what the future is looking like and what government plans are. I'll be responding to everything that is said on Monday and indeed the comprehensive spending review and, and the final conclusions of what the EU-UK deal looks like on Tuesday. So please do join that webinar. Um, there'll be myself and various members of the staff team having a, a, a look at it. And if you want to book in, you can either go to NFU Call First go to NFU online or talk to your regional office and those emails should be in your inbox to help with all of that today. And then on Wednesday, there is your opportunity to uh, engage with DEFRA. We have the Deputy Director of Future Farming and Countryside uh, within the department coming uh, to speak to our members on Wednesday. Um, Janet Hughes is going to give um, a broad oversight uh, as to her thoughts on the future and it's a really good opportunity for you, our members, to engage. So again, normal booking in process uh, applies, you know, call first and if you're online or regional office. Um, so much happening. I, I really, really hope that we will conclude uh, the final arrangements between the UK and the EU. Um, it has been a very, very tense time. We've, of course, been through two no-deal scenarios in the past. It is, and it's becoming very clear with the economic analysis out there, it is really bad news to leave without a deal for agriculture. Um, unprecedented, I would say, especially with the economic shock that we are dealing with at the moment. So enormous need for us to get a deal to keep the trade flows going. You know, 90% of our exports currently go to the EU. Yes, there will be new market opportunities, but let's make sure that we maintain this one because it really is needed and is, of course, so valuable to all of you, our members. Um, a whirlwind trip through, a huge amount going on. Um, and I do hope that all of you are staying safe, enjoying some slightly, certainly here in South Wiltshire, some slightly unseasonal weather. It feels um, very mild. We've course had quite a lot of rain as I'm sure of many of you but it does feel unseasonally mild so I don't know what that means and what the rest of the winter has on offer but as ever please do take care and I very much look forward to speaking to you again next week thanks so much